to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I am having a freaking fantastic one. It is Monday. We are 17 days, just 17 days away from the kickoff of the 2024 season. And maybe the Cowboys have a little bit of hope. Now, I'm here because, you know, we, we saw the tweet from CD Lamb about three hours ago where it was the black Spider-Man putting on a mask. Some people thought that means he's about to sign and he's ready to go to work. Some people like me, I think that that was kind of a message to the Cowboys, like get this shit done. Either way, they need to hurry up and get this thing finished, okay? At this point, they are hurting this season. That's supposed to be all in, all in. But I was looking because shout out to my guys at BetUS. They sent me something that literally I can't believe, okay? I, I know we got people that are saying, Dak Prescott, he's gone. You just got to accept it, Mark Holmes. Your quarterback is just garbage. Here's the thing that's kind of interesting to me, okay? Here's the thing that's kind of interesting. And j just, just, just go along with me here because this is kind of one of those things that are kind of crazy. I know people always say, well, the Cowboys, well, you know, they've got an easy schedule. Every year they got an easy schedule. Soft schedule. Their division stinks and all that. Okay, I, I hear what you're saying. They run up the score against bad teams. Okay, I, I hear what you're saying. But don't the Eagles play that same soft schedule? Don't some of these other teams, like teams in the NFC South, have a soft schedule? I mean, we're talking about Carolina. Now, they did work good like in 2015 and were 15 and 1, but since that time, they've been ass ass. How many quarterbacks have they been through? How many coaches? Hell, Kellen Moore interviewed for them for the head coaching thing twice. Tampa Bay was good when they had Tom Brady there for a couple of years, but before that, not so much. Atlanta, they've been a disappointment since they blew the biggest lead in the Super Bowl. But be that as it may, Dak Prescott needs this year four games, just four games, with three TD passes. Three TD passes to become only the third quarterback in the history of the NFL to have 40, you know, three touchdown games. At this point in their first nine seasons. Do you know what the list is? Dan Marino. And Peyton Manning. To put this another way. Let me put this another way. Daniel Jones. Hasn't had a three TD game. Since 2019. Here's where it's really fun. Oh, my God. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you this, because for all those out there that say that Dak Prescott, he doesn't deserve a big pile of money. He doesn't deserve to be the highest paid, even though he was runner-up MVP. Be that as it may. I don't look at it and say we had the same amount of talent as, say, San Francisco or the Eagles, we, we see Philly 500 is saying that they're talking about trading for another wide receiver. Hell, we, we don't even sign our, our, our going good ones. Check this out. I, 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 this literally blew my mind. If we go to BetUS, passing TDs for the 24-25 season, the over and under bets. Daniel Jones, at first I thought it was for interceptions. Because uh, let me show you guys something here first. Oh, wow. This is where Dan Orlowski breathes a sigh of relief. In New York, so he'll get a lot of carry. Look at Daniel Jones. Oh. In the end zone and it's I'm not going to take a safety. I'll just throw a pick six. Petrie for six. And the Texans grab the lead. Juan Barkley anymore in New York. Look at this. He'll get a lot of carries. Jones in some trouble in the end zone, and it's intercepted, and a touchdown. Can you believe that Tiki Barber said he would take that guy 
a hundred times out of a hundred over Dak Prescott. That Greg Jennings literally said he trusts Daniel Jones over Dak Prescott. So the over and under for TD passes for Daniel Jones, at first I thought it was interceptions, is 15 and a half. Are, are you serious? You're literally going to say an NFL quarterback, the over and under is 15 and a half? Wait, there's more. Here's where it's crazy because Jaden Daniels just got named starting quarterback for the left hand up, the Washington Commanders. His over and under as a rookie who's never started a game in the NFL is 17 and a half. Hmm. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, who the Eagles swear is head and shoulders above Dak Prescott. The bet U.S. over and under, now they got Kellen Moore, for Jalen Hurts, who, mind you, last year was his most touchdown passes he's ever had at 23 with 15 interceptions. His over and under for the season is 21 and a half. Now, Rain Dakota Prescott, the overrated garbage quarterback that guys like Nick Wright don't even want to say he's a top 10 quarterback, a guy who last year was an MVP runner up with 36 TDs and nine interceptions, who even when he broke his thumb and missed five games, had the same amount of TD passes as Jalen Hurts had last year, the whole season. Mind you, who the year before had 37 TDs when he had a Michael Gallup that was coming back from injury and so on. His over and under for the 24 season is 29 and a half. TD passes. And we're talking about his number one receiver 17 days away from the start of the season isn't even here. And they went back to Zeke Elliott where you look at it and say, hmm, their running game might not be real good. And they may be starting two rookie offensive linemen. Now, this isn't the Eagles that have A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith and Dallas Goddard and Saquon Barkley that's talking about trading for another wide receiver. This is the Dallas Cowboys that have an aging running back, two rookie possibly offensive linemen starting, one great receiver who's not signed and in camp, an aging veteran in Brandon Cooks, an emerging young receiver in Jalen Tolbert, who only has like 250 yards in the NFL, and a progressing tight end. And that guy literally almost doubles the over and under for Daniel Jones. So for those out there that say that Dak Prescott is a garbage-ass quarterback, that he sucks, yeah, When you think about some of the things that Dak Prescott has gone through, one of the most gruesome injuries that we've ever seen where he literally had his leg completely severed, the bones completely broken. When you're talking about a guy who's lost his mother to cancer, his brother to suicide, and is here with the Dallas Cowboys where their motto is, we can do more with less, that ends up taking away some of his best weapons and don't replace them. That when they decide that we're going to pay a receiver, not Amari Cooper, we're going to pay a guy that just tore his ACL. That's been declining for two seasons. That's the guy we want to make sure we have on the field. That's what we do. Y'all better recognize, I know the Trey Lance train is taking off and getting steam. 
that, oh, man, he just needs to play more. He How he's going to take us to the Super Bowl. Yeah, guys, yeah. Tell you what, Vegas knows what they're talking about. They certainly wouldn't be putting up 29 and a half TD passes if they didn't think it was going to be right around that. Daniel Jones, son, you got to do better than that. I'm Mark Holmes, and definitely check out BetUS, because with BetUS, they have a 125% matching. And if you're into gambling, that is the site for you. Peace. Michael Vick at BetUS.com. Catch an incredible 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS, my online sports book and casino.